Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today's question comes from Fluffle. They are trying to create a progress bar. Um, they are looking to collect gems and as they collect them it'll tell them how much progress they've done so far. So without further ado, we will hop into the map. And let's get a oops, sprite on here for our hero. And I'll be using my normal sprites uh, from Pixel Frog, and as always, I'll throw a link down in the description so you can find them. They're free to use. And set that to hero. And just going to give him uh, his platformer. And that's just the easiest way to get something moving around real quick. And then I'll throw a sprite down for the ground. And I'm going to give that solid. And I'm going to come over here and grab an item to pick up. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So I'll make a sprite box for it. And it's an animation. I'm just going to drag it in. strip and set that to loop and I'm just gonna copy paste five of these bad boys and essentially as I collect them they'll go up I'll need to collect all five and then I'll have a hundred percent my progress bar and of course I'll need a progress bar so sprite and this is gonna be a lot like um, the health bar it's just going to go up as you collect rather than going down. But I will walk you through it all. So we will need a wide bar that's kind of short height wise. I mean, you can have many height you want, just uh, the normal look that you'll usually see is a short and wide bar. And we can just have ours be a rectangle. You can find some cool graphics for nicer bars uh, for free on Itch.io or my free game art and stuff like that online. Um, but this will just show us how to do it real quick. And then I'm going to set this origin. And we want to keep this in the center, but we want it all the way on the side plus one. And we're doing that plus one because we want the origin to start where the bar will actually start. So if we do it back here, the bar will be over the edge of this image, and we want it to just start right inside and essentially move all the way to the other side. So that's done, and we're just going to name that border. And then I'm going to create another one. And what you'll have to remember from the first one is the size. And when we create the other one, we're going to make it two pixels less and that's because there's one pixel of border on the top, one on the bottom, and then same with one on the left, one on the right. So depending on the dimensions of the border on the other one, you're going to just subtract that from it. And we're going to go to 98 and 18. And this one's just going to be a fill bar. So we can just pick whatever color we want. And throw it on there and we also want to set the origin and this one's going all the way to zero and we can line those up here and we can also line them up in our events because they are both set to have their point at the same origin if we set them at the same position they'll line up perfectly and we should be good there jumping into the code we're going to want two globals. First one will be progress. And copy paste. Second one will be um, total um, required. And our required is going to be five because we have the five strawberries. 
and we'll take an every tick and we are going to set the uh, fill bar and I'm just gonna rename this real quick fill bar and we're gonna set its width right here and we wanna do progress divided by required and this simple algorithm right here will give us the percentage of our bar that we need filled but we need to give it the overall size as well and that's going to come from this right here so when it's at 25 percent we want it to be 25 percent of 98 um, so we'll multiply this total by 98 so it'll be your current progress divided by your total amount and then times the total size of your bar. And on start a layout, we're going to just go ahead and set that required. And the total required will be 5. And then we need to interact with the strawberries. So hero on collision with another object with our strawberry sprite and we will destroy it then we will add to value progress one and yeah uh, we'll go ahead and run this real quick if I could aim but as you can see, as you pick up each one, the bar moves, and at the end, you're sitting at a full bar. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, you can throw them in the comments, and have a great day.